In this morning's Health Watch, food and fertility. What role does diet play in a woman's ability to conceive? Jill Blakeway is an acupuncturist and she's also author of the book Making Babies. Good morning, Jill. Good morning, Maggie. It's good to be here. It's good to have you. H how important is diet when you're thinking about having a baby? I think it's really vital. It's the one thing that you can do that's in your power, that you do every day that changes your body chemistry. Let's talk about examples of that. You brought some veggies. What, what are they good for? Well, we tell our patients, try and have a, a rainbow of vegetables on your plate, preferably organic. I know it gets expensive, but as much organic as you can afford. Why? Um, because you're, the agricultural pesticides and the chemicals and the manufacturing chemicals all do affect hormone balance. Okay. And I think none of us can afford to eat completely organic, but just the best we can do. And then lots of beautiful colored vegetables. We have some carrots here, they're full of beta carotene, which is good for hormone balance. We have lovely leafy greens that have folic acid in. It's very good for um, building um, sperm and eggs. We have um, tomatoes that have lycopene in, that's good for sperm count, that kind of thing. So this is basically to keep your hormones in check, is it the is. main function of it veggies. Is. It's probably the most important thing you can do. Okay, what do you want to illustrate here? Is this uh, some examples of fat, like with the oil? It is. I'd like people to know that they should have some fat. I think people go on very, very low fat diets, and I think they'd be surprised to find out that if you don't get enough fat, you can't make the hormones you need. Oh. So we encourage people to have healthy fats. Okay, whole grains. Whole grains. We refine grains in this country really for convenience sake because they cook quicker, but it takes a lot of the important vitamins out of them. So we like people to have whole grains because they have antioxidants and iron and B vitamins in, and those are all important for getting pregnant. Yes, I know that. What about <laughs> protein? Some people don't get enough protein. Some vegetarians don't get enough protein. It's important to remember that there are lots of vegetable sources of protein like beans and nuts and seeds and things like that. Lots of lovely, healthy, lean protein too. How can protein help boost your fertility? Protein is a precursor to um, healthy sperm and eggs. It's, it has amino acids, chains of amino acids in it that are really important for building sperm and eggs. All right, Jill, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate Maggie. it. We're going to put all this up on our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.